Good afternoon, LC people. Well, it was exactly what we thought it was going to be, carburetors. Wrong main jets, <laughs> wrong emulsion tubes, uh, wrong needles, wrong pilot jets. I've put all that right. I sorted the exhaust clamp out uh, and I've took it for a blast and yeah, it's happy. <laughs> Pulls through the gears, which has cleared its lungs. It goes around the rev band. Not really gave it massive barriers because he's running, he's running it in. So I didn't hold it up past sort of eight and a half, nine for any more than a few seconds. But uh, it gets there. I don't like bikes without no mirrors on. <laughs> you don't know if old Bill's behind you, do you? <laughs> but no, it's, it's finished, it's done. I'm waiting for him to ring me back. And hopefully I can take it back today. Because um, I'm going to buy it and meet tonight at the Chesterfield Arms that I mentioned about. I'm going to pick the MT project up a bit later on this afternoon and make sure it's good before uh, we get over there. Uh, I think the meeting's something like about half six times, six, half six, something like that. Uh, the bikes come and go all the while. It's not sort of a, a venue where folks stay for several hours. They just go and have a nosy, don't they? Cup of tea, talk some crap and come back, and it's one of them. But yeah, this LC's done. He spent a lot of money on it. It looks very nice. Lots of powder coated bits here and there. It's not uh, for the purist. It's not got all the olive green in every way where you would expect. But it's a very, very nice bike. Uh, it'll be happy that it's running right now. Like I said, I don't know who uh, originally built it for him. Um, but yeah, the carburetors was a pain in the backside. But that's normally the problem, isn't it? I've just re simmed his oil pump because that wasn't quite delivering the right amount. Um, and that's it really uh, just adjusted up the carburetors a little bit to sync them up with the oil pump and the cap was the wrong way around I put that the right way around the stupid thing was I come back for the ride out and <laughs> I'd sold the guy this speedo unit a while ago anyway he'd put it on himself bless him and I hadn't checked it he hadn't tightened up the thing so I come back and the cable all in the floor and the inner cable was just disappeared somewhere around the streets. I don't know where it is. So he'll have to get another one because I ain't got a spare to push in it. But that's it. Everything's sort of tickety boo on the bike. I'm happy for him. It sits well on the centre stand, back wheels off the floor, which is nice. And that's all I can tell you about it. Um, nothing else to say. It's a matching numbers one. It's an early one. One key does fit all. You know, the lovely offset cap that everybody likes. Very tidy bike. He'll be happy. Anyway, folks, that's all I can tell you. So if you live around the Nuneaton Way, you'll be seeing this bike out. Uh, I think he's got a fire blade and one or two other one or two other toys. You were telling me, but uh, yeah, the first time we went out on it, I don't know if it was last week or the week before. So he sort of jumped on me the other day. Said, "All right, there's something else coming in the next week, so it needs to be bang bang." And that's what's happened. Anyway, folks, I'm waffling. Thanks for watching. And if you're out and about, have a swad tonight. Pop into the Chesterfield. And I'll see you there on the MT project. All right, folks. Dilly dilly.